All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Undressed and On Set with me, Texas Phoenix. Today, we are recapping the episode with Egypt Crises. She is the daughter of Peppa from Salt and Peppa. I don't, what is her real name? I don't think I've, I don't think I ever have known that. Let me Google this real fast because I really don't know. So she was on a TV show called Love, no, I was going to say Love and Hip Hop, Growing Up Hip Hop. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, is this her? No. So, Paul apparently did her wedding dress, and I want to see pictures of it, because I'm confused, because they said that they had to keep letting the dress out because she was pregnant, and so did she get married while she was pregnant? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, Peppa's real name is Sandra Jacqueline Denton, better known by her stage name as Peppa or Pep. Okay, so Egypt is from the show Growing Up Hip Hop, and I, I'm trying to remember if I ever watched that show. Is it a show that's still on? Like, I really don't know the answer. Oh my god, watch it be one of those like VH1 shows. I bet you it was. <laughs> um, but I think it's so funny, like watching her talk to Paul and Patrick. Apparently, they've had some very, um, I, I don't know, the word I'm thinking of is clandestine, and that's not the word provocative no not provocative what is the word that i'm looking for provocative no it's not it's oh my god it's gonna drive me nuts because i can't think of the word no no now i'm thinking cabaret and that's not the right word does it sound like cabaret i don't know what word i'm thinking of hopefully it'll just pop into my brain and i'll remember it but because i'm struggling over here but apparently her fiance or husband has been like I guess in the shower and she's just like answered the phone when Paul and Patrick are calling her and then he's just like hello look at me in the shower <laughs> first of all I love the confidence I think that that's just amazing but <laughs> sir maybe you should put some clothes on and I think he has an OnlyFans this is just crazy to me the society that we live in nowadays is just like wow oh my allergies are killing me so I literally like cannot breathe this whole situation is just inflamed not good should probably stop eating cheese and I don't know I guess I don't want to do dairy okay anyways I digress oh I did eat some rice tomorrow last night <laughs> um so then they were talking about I'm trying to remember everything I'm watching it right now too we'll be watching it um they're going on about they're going on <laughs> the way I'm listening to I just really think that it's crazy how people can be so like free I guess not free free is not the right word um confident no confident not the right word either why am I struggling why is my brain completely failing me today it's like not wanting me to be successful <laughs> I want to see what they did for their runway rundown because, you know, she talked about her mom. She talked about um, being on the show, growing up hip hop. What else? This is not my best recording of this episode. I'll tell you that. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Hope I didn't hurt your ears too bad let's oh oh that's right she got into like a fight or something like i wouldn't say that it was a was it a fight a heated discussion let's call it that even that heated discussion with somebody else i think that was on the show growing up hip-hop come on i keep wanting to say love and hip-hop <laughs> i don't know why oh man that's so funny uh that's just like <laughs> I'm trying to put this girl on this show and I don't know why she's way she's too classy to be on that show first of all she's Pepper's she's Pepper's daughter she would have never have been on that show so that's just completely I don't know why my brain's trying to make that connection it's just not good um <laughs> so he says that they're that they talked about the wedding dress because I want to go back to the wedding dress it's an cathedral length train 
What is a cathedral length train? Is it, is that like the Princess Diana train? Is that what that is? Like it's just ridiculously long? Because I feel like that's a lot of dress. And then look, you'll have to have a bustle. And then I feel like sometimes when you do the bustles on dresses that um, you can't move. Like you can't dress the way you want to dress. Or you have to be like holding it. Like you're carrying it around. Like <laughs> can we normalize having like a not, not so fancy dresses? Like when I got married, I had the little tiniest like baby doll dress and then I wore red the skull shoes <laughs> and I only got married at the courthouse so I didn't even have like a real wedding I know it's sad <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to be like oh this is the way people should do it no you know what don't do it the way I did it because my way was sad ignore what I said I take it back I retract it <laughs> oh my goodness okay so then we're moving on into they talk so I guess they did talk about there being like a latest season of the show growing up hip hop. What you know what? Let me look Google this because um, it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't like do the research and figure it out. What show or what channel is this show on? Let's see. Growing up hip hop. Oh, it says it's on the Roku channel. Oh, I can watch it on Hulu. Okay. Yeah, season seven came out this year. Okay, so then I guess there's going to be a season 8 coming up. Sam and Egypt talk about their second wedding ceremony. Oh, because they got married and then they had like a big marriage ceremony. Yeah, okay, they did talk about that on the show as well. All right, I guess I'm going to have to watch this show. It looks really good. I mean, I want to, I love Peppa. I like grew up listening to them. Like my cousins were always jamming Tom Peppa and stuff. Shoot, shoot, daddy, shoot, daddy. Is that the is that the words the lyrics? I mean, I know "shoop" is obviously the lyric, but what are the the words in between it? Because it, <laughs> it's like Queen, it's like Bohemian Rhapsody, like you know, just right. I could be wrong. I don't know. Don't get me don't get me trying to quote facts on this channel because I do not quote facts. I quote my opinion and what I think in my little crazy brain, and that's just how we roll on this channel. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start doing recordings where I do like a get ready with me and like get like a nightly routine of like doing like a face wash um i won't do the face wash on this channel i'm just gonna do the uh like the toner and the this after stuff after the wash part because <laughs> uh i'm trying to get more contact contact <laughs> content on this channel on instagram so i can be a content creator full-time and stop having a job where I have to leave my house because I kind of just want to become a hermit and I don't want to leave my house anymore it's the way I am with life at this point okay so this is her first child and I'm super excited for her um and she's having a girl okay this argument that Paul and Patrick have about what she's gonna name her daughter I literally cannot gentlemen <laughs> kind sirs <laughs> We are not naming this baby Patrika or Paulina. And then I love how she was like trying to like, when she gave her baby name, I'm not going to say that it is what it is, but she was like, you guys are so close. I'm really not sure. I mean, I guess adding the A at the end of the names is what she was trying to say was close, but come on. None of that was close. None of that was close at all. Okay. Um, I think it's funny when she talks about her mom like showing up to school and like I totally <laughs> I totally can understand growing up and not understanding the magnitude of who your parents are I, like we're seeing it in real time on the Kardashians with like North and um Saint like they really don't understand like they just think that, that that life like that is normal like that's normal to them we all know that that's not normal but <laughs> That, it seems like kind of Egypt went through that as she was growing up. Like she forgets her lunch one day, and here comes Peppa in this like fabulous like fur coat and like these big old sunglasses and jewels. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, "Oh my God, Peppa's your mom." <laughs> I um, I went to school. I think middle school I was in with a girl who was cousins. Um, with one of the original four people from Destiny's Child and Destiny's Child came to our middle school one day and everybody was like losing their minds. It was so funny. So I can kind of like see how um, 
that can happen and you you know i'm sure that girl was like this is just my cousin because she was like one of the original two girls not obviously not beyonce and not kelly but the two girls before michelle whoever those i don't remember who those girls were what their names were i feel really bad because they deserve some credit because they were part of destiny's child becoming who they are today and getting them that foot in the door situation anyways um yeah i can imagine how you're like I want to say like desensitized to it because you're just like you see them every day and you're like oh, this is just my cousin this is just my mom blah 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 so that's just gotta be a, a real fun experience to to have okay then they did the runway rundown and I think it's pretty hilarious how they look at stuff and she even was like wearing things that her mom used to wear like those leggings that she was wearing and she's got like a big cover like me covering it with a cover but what was it it was like a wasn't it like an Hermes or a Louis Vuitton? Oh my God, I can't even remember what it was. But she's like, first of all, that look was cute. And then she had a mirror look that she took a picture with with Bad Baby. Oh man, how hilarious is that? That she is, are they friends? I can't, I couldn't tell if they were friends or they just, I guess, get along in public well. But I think, I think we give a lot of, um, I think society gives a lot of crap to Bad Baby um because i think she kind of in the earlier time she was really just a product of her environment and trying to grow up in a broken household or a household that didn't have both parents whatever you want to call it um, i grew up that way like my, my household didn't have both of my parents i was truly raised by my grandparents at one point in time because my mom just like completely checked out and didn't want to have anything to do with me um so yeah there's that <laughs> um which is why like when I see people who have relationships with their parents, like the way Egypt does with her mom, I just think that that's so amazing. And I like to see that in the world because I just, I didn't, ha I don't have that relationship. Not that I didn't have it. I always speak about um, my parents in the past tense because I don't speak to them any longer. And I, it's been years, it's been like five or six years. Don't, and let me tell you right now, don't be in my comment section talking about, oh, life is short and da 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 da. Maybe one day I'll share the history with you guys. If you guys really want me to, we can go into that. I'll probably not put it on this channel and put it on my personal channel. Um, but if that's what you want, go ahead and let me know and we'll talk about that. But as far as like reconcile and life is short and all of that, yada, 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 BS, don't come to me with that. Don't come to me with that. You don't know the history. You don't know what you're talking about. I've gone no contact for a reason and those are my reasons and it is what it is and just respect that that's my life and if you want to dive into that we can dive into that i'll go ahead and be willing to talk about it it might be a little cathartic for me actually it might help me get some of the things off my chest and deal with the mental things that i'm going through on this healing journey that i have been thrust into this is really how it feels right now like i'm on a healing journey and i'm kind of just being thrust into it but um we're just taking it day by day so yeah um bad baby her wearing that dress i love that dress oh my god i agree with um i don't know who said it paula patrick they they said that she looked nine feet tall she does look nine feet tall in this picture she looks amazing i love the dress i love the little like um fabric situation that's right here so where she's not like exposed but it's like essentially a cutout i just love that dress i think it was amazing her look was good her makeup was good i mean whoever dressed her in that needs to dress her all the time literally every single time <laughs> but then um yeah the leggings outfit with her mom i thought that was cute because it was her mom's leggings and so it's kind of it's a vibe it's like a throwback vintage you know kind of situation and what's the other one what is the other one oh she had like some skirt situation right was that her in the skirt situation i'm trying to remember i'm sorry i've watched a lot of these episodes like back to back and i'm trying to remember if it was egypt in the skirt or was it Portia Coleman I had to rewatch them and then they showed another girl that had like a sweater tank top like cut out situation and like just jeans and she was at a red carpet event I think I'm just saying for a red carpet event that's not the outfit if you especially if you're in LA I don't know maybe if you're down here in Austin Texas that'll work but it's not gonna work in LA I wouldn't have worn that is what I'll say I just I wouldn't have worn that I get that that's your vibe and you don't care and that's your brand or whatever but I don't know if you're going to a red carpet I feel like 
put some effort. Don't wear the same thing you would wear to, you know, H E B or Win Dixie or Publix or I don't know what y'all guys have in California, but we have H E B down here. But I just listed like three places and I don't even know where the other two places are. <laughs> What's the one that's like Kroger's? What's the one? Kirkland's, right? No, Kirkland's owns Costco. What's the one that owns Kroger's? Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so, oh, okay. It's a Fendi. It was a Fendi blanket Shaw situation. She looks hot. A little crystally top too. Love that. Love it. Okay. So that's all that it's going to be for this episode. I feel like I've ranted on too much about other things and I got distracted because that's how my little brain works right now. But we're trying, and we're getting it together. This is going to be posted very soon. Uh, what else do I want to say? Do I have anything like cool coming up? I'm still working on my live episodes, our live stream recaps of The Housewives. I don't know what day I'm going to post them, to be quite honest. I'm struggling with the day. I'm struggling with getting live Wednesdays and Thursday nights because of the way my work schedule is right now, being a delivery, an underpaid delivery driver. <laughs> um... And what else? What else? What else? What else do I want to say? I guess that's it. Um, have a great day, everybody. And keep your head up. Spread love and peace and positivity in the world. Check on your strong friends because they are struggling. Lend them $5. Buy them a coffee. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week, your morning, your afternoon, your evening, whatever time of day you're watching this. And... Yeah, just be kind to people and check on your strong friends. I think that's what's going to be my sign off for right now. That's what I'm, that's the vibe I'm feeling. Okay, I'm going on too much again. <laughs> All right, catch you on the next one, guys. See ya. Bye.